It's now my privilege and honor to pay tribute to the memory of our fellow firefighters who we lost on 9-11 by presenting an award that memorializes the name and legacy of Deputy Chief Ray Downey, one of the greatest leaders of our generation. Please join with me in welcome, welcoming the Chief Executive Officer of Penwell Corporation, the parent company of Fire Engineering Magazine, my boss, Mr. Robert F. Biacchini. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm again honored to be here with you this morning, celebrating the life and legacy of Chief Ray Downey and participating in the 80th Annual Fire Department Instructors Conference. This year marks the 12th anniversary of Fire Engineering's direction of the FDIC Conference and the 7th anniversary of the Ray Downey Courage and Valor Award. On behalf of all of us at Penwell and Fire Engineering, we welcome you to FDIC 208. As the CEO of Penwell, I am very proud to be able to support, direct the most meaningful fire training educational event in the entire world. To deliver this world-class program, we have many great partners. I would love, but I cannot possibly hope to mention them all, but please accept my deepest appreciation to all of, all of those selfless efforts uh, made that have made this great event uh, conference possible. Further, I would like to extend a special thanks to you, all of you firefighters here today, not only for your participation during this special week, but also for your dedication to your duties in helping mankind and serving lives throughout the year and in saving lives throughout the year. This morning, I am once again, for the seventh time, deeply honored to participate in the presentation of the Ray Downey Courage and Valor Award. Chief Downey was a man I knew well and an extraordinary man who throughout his life personified fire service, courage, and valor. Chief Downey is remembered for his tremendous accomplishments in his service to New York City and the nation. And I remember him well on his service in Oklahoma when the Murrah Building went down where he served our governor, Frank Keating, there in making uh, and saving lives. Yet we knew him, despite all of his, his great accomplishments, to be a very humble man. Like every one of you, he often repeated during his illustrious career that he was just doing his job. Fire, fi firefighting was a job that Chief Downey took as seriously as his earlier commitment to the United States Marine Corps. It is the same spirit of dedication to duty that this award bearing his name represents. The Courage and Valor Foundation's mission is to help honor an individual firefighter whose actions reached extraordinary heights the Courage and Valor Foundation and this perpetual endowment will assist the American Fire Service in continuing to recognize Chief Downey and those whose actions mirror his. This morning, we gather to honor another true American hero, Lieutenant Michael Cabral of the Fall River, Massachusetts Fire Department. Last year, Michael's focused act of bravery under difficult conditions resulted in saving two young lives. Lieutenant Carbro's action reflect on the fire service's true value. So today, we recognize him individually, but in a greater sense, his actions are a mirror of the outstanding actions each of you perform 
as a firefighter saving lives. The Courage and Valor Foundation wishes to extend its appreciation and thanks to the, fallen, to the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation, represented on the stage here today by Director Ron Cerniski and the National Fire Academy Alumni Association, whose president, Ron Canterman, is standing here today with us as well. We are grateful to these men and their associations for their helping us and representing us in, and, and assisting us in the Ray Downey Courage and Valor Award selection. Now, please join me in welcoming FDNY Battalion Chiefs Joe Downey and Chuck Downey, Ray's sons, in presenting the 208 Ray Downey Courage and Valor Award. Thank you, Bob. On behalf of the entire Downey family, thank you for continuing to memorialize the legacy of our father with this important, tremendously important award. Thank you also, Bob. Joe and I feel especially proud this morning to see that today we honor a firefighter who was able to rescue two young lives. Saving lives is the number one mission of the fire service, and the actions of Lieutenant Cabral, who we honor here this morning, proves how our training and practice can yield fantastic results. That is right, Chuck. Lieutenant Cabral performed his duty gallantly under adverse and dangerous conditions by remaining calm and focused. His actions those early morning hours of October 25, 2007, exemplified the highest traditions of the fire service. But before we tell Lieutenant Cabral's story, we want to express our family's gratitude to the Courage and Valor Foundation. We also would like to thank the fire engineering advisors and staffers who are continuously on the lookout for particularly courageous acts to request nominations. The selection process has several components involving firefighters from across the country. We receive reports of unparalleled bravery, and it is always an extremely difficult task to narrow it down to just one firefighter whose actions rose above all. But in the final analysis, there was one that stood above the rest. One candidate that my brother and I agreed reminded us by his actions of our father, Chief Ray Downey. And now to the 2008 recipient of the Ray Downey Courage and Valor Award. Just after midnight on October 25, 2007, a still alarm was struck at the Fall River, Massachusetts Fire Department. Engine 4, Ladder 2, and the remaining full still assignment response was dispatched to a reported structural fire at a local housing project. Lieutenant Michael Cabral and the crew of Engine 4 responded to the alarm. Approaching the fire scene from a distance, Lieutenant Cabral noticed a cloud of black smoke in the sky in the vicinity of a well-known housing project. On arrival, there was heavy black smoke pouring out of second floor windows and the front door. There were people outside screaming and yelling, police officers, told Lieutenant Cabral that there were two children trapped in the second floor bedroom. Lieutenant Cabral seized, uh, sized up the scene while dismounting from his engine four along with his crew. Drawing on his military and fire service training, Lieutenant Cabral concentrating on controlling his thoughts and emotions amid a chaotic scene of excited and fearful residents. He knew they had to get in there quickly. He instinctively knew time was of an essence if they hope to save those children. Lieutenant Cabral ordered his crew to stretch an attack line. Then observing the rapid, rapidly deteriorating conditions, he realized the stretch could not be made in time to save the children. It was at this point that Lieutenant Cabral instructed his crew to meet him on the second floor landing with the line. Alone and without the protection of a hand line, Lieutenant Cabral entered the front door. Instantly, he was forced to his hands and knees due to heat heavy smoke and no visibility. As he climbed the staircase, the heat intensified. Reaching the second floor landing, Lieutenant Cabral found the apartment, entered, and began his search. While searching the apartment, Lieutenant Cabral could feel the heat intensifying. After searching several rooms, he found the children's room and made entry. 
He encountered what felt like a crib, but no victim was in it or under it. Continuing the search, he felt a bed and felt the small foot of the first victim. Scooping up the limp body, he continued, to, continued a quick search for the second victim. Lieutenant Cabral made the extremely difficult decision to leave with the first victim. Realizing the chances for the second victim's survival would be much lower. Lieutenant Cabral retraced his path out of the apartment, staying low. He lost his footing and slid down a flight of stairs while supporting a three-year-old victim on his chest. At the door, he was met by fellow Fall River firefighters who immediately began CPR on a child who appeared to be lifeless. Lieutenant Cabral then re-entered the building to attempt to locate and remove the second child. The engine company was still advancing to the fire floor, and Lieutenant Cabral passed them on his way back to the victim's apartment. Confident he could locate the second child, Lieutenant Cabral again entered and found his way to the bedroom to continue his search. With conditions continuing to deteriorate, he felt what he assumed was a bed up against the wall. He felt around and found a small hand. Lifting the six-year-old child into his arms, he turned to find his crew entering the bedroom behind him. As Lieutenant Cabral passed the advancing crews, his mask was pulled from his face and he needed to regain his air supply. Recognizing he was now in danger of not being able to quickly exit without an intact face piece, Lieutenant Cabral quickly handed the young girl to another firefighter who rapidly exited with the victim. Lieutenant Cabral redonned his own face piece and exhausted he made his way outside the structure to find that CPR was being performed on the children. The medics outside were able to revive the young boy on the scene, but the six-year-old girl was in worse condition and was not revived until she arrived at the local area hospital. After being airlifted to a specialized burn center at Mass General, both children eventually fully recovered from their injuries. In the early moments of October 25th, 207, Lieutenant Cabral demonstrated the extreme courage and valor. His unfaltering focus and commitment to saving the lives of the two young children, despite the danger to himself, e exemplifies the highest tradition of the, of the fire service. Lieutenant Cabral's persistence in his search to locate the second victim was heroic, yet not considered out of character by his fellow Fall River firefighters. Lieutenant Michael Cabral is 37 years old and a lifelong resident of the city of Fall River, Massachusetts. He is the youngest of 12 ch children born to a Portuguese immigrant family Lieutenant Cabral was served nine years in the Army National Guard, including one year in Bosnia. He has been serving Fall River for six and a half years and is an active member of the Bristol County Regional Technical Rescue Team. For his extraordinary courage and valor, we are honored to present Lieutenant Michael Cabral with the 208 Ray Downey Courage and Valor Award, along with a $35,000 check from the Fire Engineering Courage and Valor Foundation. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Lieutenant Michael Cabral. <laughs> Thank you and good morning. It is with the great honor and privilege for me to accept this award.
in honor of one of the most highly decorated and courageous five fighters, Chief Ray Downey. I'd like to thank the Fire Engineering, Courage and Valor Foundation, the Penwell Corporation, the FDIC. I would also like to thank my wife and family for their support, along with the Forever Fire Department and my fellow brother firefighters for all of their efforts in nominating me for this prestigious award. I am very fortunate to be surrounded by many great firefighters and trained by outstanding training officers. Without them, this could not have been possible. The greatest reward is that those two children are alive and doing well. They are truly the real heroes. This experience has had a tremendous impact on my life and will remain with me forever. Thank you all very much.